Hi guys, today we are going to do the unboxing of the Water Lily. Now this is a solar charger made by Seafomatics out of St. John, Newfoundland. And what this actually is, is a subsea um, turbine that uses waves and ocean currents to generate power for um, off-grid or offshore applications and they've miniaturized it to a backpack size. Um, and this box weighs hardly anything, so I'm kind of uh, excited about this. It might be another option to uh, charge your gadgets when you're backpack hunting other than a uh, solar panel. And uh, this turbine actually works in the wind as well as the water, which I really like because when you're mountain hunting, uh, usually you're camped by moving water, or creek or stream, and there's always some kind of water source around. And in the case that there's not, it also works uh, from the wind and the mountains are always windy. So hopefully uh, this could be another option for taking out in the uh, backcountry. But uh, the only other option other than something like this or a solar panel might be a miniature windmill or some kind of device like that. But uh, this one I think is probably the most intriguing to me. So anyways, let's uh, open this up and uh, see what we got here. All right. All right. All right. Okay, so. guide all right so put the box aside. all right we've just got this uh, unit out of the box now first impressions it looks fairly well built the uh, cable is obviously rated to be underwater and it does come with two USB charging ports so that's good I thought it'd probably only have one but uh, two you could charge a battery and maybe your phone at the same time depending on the output you're able to get and the output of this is really going to depend on the uh, speed of the wind or the flow of the current. Now, just on first impressions here, this is a little bit heavier than I originally thought it might be. So whether you'd want to pack this in your backpack on an extended trip or not, it would be questionable. Probably a solar panel would do you um, just as well and be significantly lighter, but it's not outrageously heavy. You could actually take this and, um, it would just be a little bit more weight than I would be probably interested in packing on an extended trip, but on a three, four day trip, it'd be okay. Now, the one thing I thought was really interesting, the uh, lack of resistance for these blades is incredible. Like you barely touched that and it's still spinning. So I do think this is probably a fairly efficient unit. It's um, very well built. It does not feel cheap at all, actually feels like it's uh, um, fairly sturdy and they've put a lot of thought into this. Now these are the stainless steel cables here and I haven't uh, looked at the instruction manual but uh, I do know that these are meant to come out in front and you put on your Carabiner. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, there we go. So this would essentially be pulled like this, and then you would use your nylon rope. I'm not sure how many feet of it is. It looks like there's a, quite a bit of rope on here, anyways. And you'd tie this up either in a tree to catch the wind or in uh, the creek. Um, my preference would be the creek just because you know the water's going to always be flowing. And, uh, but yeah, it looks fairly well built actually. I'm fairly impressed. Sometimes you can get this stuff, it's uh, really cheap, junky, plasticky, made in China kind of stuff, but it um, seems actually pretty good. Uh, now, the battery, first impressions on the battery, the battery does look like a cheap piece of junk. We'll find out. Uh, how well it charges, how well it keeps a charge, and how long this actually lasts. 
um, on the back side of it it uh, looks like it's snapped together it does not appear to be waterproof um, some of the anchor batteries I do like those a little better they seem to be sealed um, as well as they got like a rubbery kind of grip this is just like kind of a hard plastic piece but um, it's got a little lanyard on it so it's kind of handy that way you can clip it to something and not uh, lose it uh, the one thing I did notice is on the end here uh, this ca little charging cable that came with it you can actually plug this in and then plug the USB side into another thing like a laptop or um, a wall charger that takes the USB plug and charge it that way without having to use the uh, the charge like the uh, wind or water charging unit here and then obviously on the other side there's a USB out port where you could plug in your phone or whatever into with your own charging cord and uh, get your phone recharged or whatever your device is that you're trying to recharge here but overall um, I've got a fairly good first impression from this I'm pretty excited to try this as an alternative to just solar panels and the one thing I actually really like this idea for is, you know, if some of the places I've hunted, it's been very uh, cloudy for an overcast for extended periods of time and your solar um, panels just don't uh, make that much power and it takes forever, it seems like, to charge something. So with something like this, we could drop it in the creek and uh, or in the wind, whatever, and get our devices charged regardless if it's sunny or not. It is a little bit heavier than I would probably want to pack around in a backpack trip over an extended period of time, but probably like a three, four day trip or less, it'd be probably worth having if you thought the weather was going to be bad. So anyways, that's it for the unboxing and stay tuned for the uh, full product review this fall. We're going to be doing a mountain hunt for um, hopefully a U and uh, we'll definitely be taking this and trying it out on that trip and if uh, you guys have a water lily of your own uh, leave your uh, thoughts about it in the comments below i'm really curious to see what you guys think of it and uh, anyways we'll see you guys in the next one